Hello friend, welcome back. We were talking about the replication and uh, we have talked about that the strand that is moving toward the replication fork is leading strand and the replication uh, and the strand that is moving away from the replication fork is called as lagging strand. Leading strand is a continuous strand and lagging strand has small okazaki fragments present between the uh, primers. Okay. Similarly, the same goes for this strand as this is the 3 prime, this is the 5 prime. So DNA polymerase will move on this direction. First of all, a primer will be added by the primase enzyme. Then DNA polymerase will start adding the nucleotide and it will keep on moving into the 5 prime direction from 3 prime direction. Okay, but in this uh, 5 to 3 prime direction, DNA polymerase cannot move. Okay, when in this direction it cannot move, what will happen? Again, primase will come to help this enzyme. It will start adding different primers near the replication fork and uh, again from these primers DNA polymerase will keep on moving and <coughs> lagging strand will be formed. All this concept has been explained in the uh, previous lecture. Okay now, now what will happen as this uh, helical enzyme is keep on moving in both directions this replication, is, uh, replication bubble is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So there is a problem. As this replication bubble is bigger and enzyme is moving on, what will happen at the terminals, both ends of the DNA strand, a super twist will be formed. The DNA will uh, condense to form a super twist here and here you can see a super twist will be formed. For example, let me show you example. Okay, for example, this is a uh, DNA strand and this is a replication bubble. Okay, and this is a, and from here, this is the replication fork. And as the replication bubble is getting higher and higher, now you can see, you can see this. You can see at the terminals, a super twist is being formed. A super twist has been formed. This super twist and this and also a super twist has been formed. Look at this. Very condensed uh, DNA has been formed. In this super twist, now helicase enzyme will not be able to move uh, further. Helicase enzyme will not be able to move further. So we have to untwist this super twist enzyme. Uh, this super twist DNA. So we need another enzyme to untwist this super twist. And the enzyme that will help Helicase in this scenario is topoisomerase. Topoisomerase. Topoisomerase will untwist this super twist. So basically, what will happen? Like, look at this. Uh, for example, this a super twist has been formed, and these are two strands that has been. Uh, this is a double helix structure. Super twist has been formed. Now, topoisomerase has two domain. With one domain, it will cut the strand and will other domain it will again ligase the strand. Look at this what will happen. So for example, this is a super twist DNA. Okay. So what will happen? Topoisomerase will come and it will break this bond. This bond. This is a one strand. Okay. This bond. That is phosphodiester bond. Phosphodiester bond between the one DNA strand. Okay. When this phosphodiester bond will be uh, broken, broken down, what will happen? the super twist will untwist. When the super twist will be untwist, again this uh, bond will be ligased. It will be attached by the second domain of the topoisomerase. So what will happen? Topoisomerase first break this bond. When that super twist get untwisted, it will again ligase. Now look at this. A twist has been resolved. A twist has been resolved. So in this way, uh, topoisomerase will work and it will keep on untwisting the DNA. It will keep on untwisting the DNA. So it means this topoisomerase has two domains. Topoisomerase has uh, two domains. The one is nuclease domain and other one is ligase domain. Nuclease domain and like here domain. For example, this is a DNA that has super twist has been formed. So what 
न्यूक्लियर डोमेन विल डू इट विल ब्रेक दिस बॉन्ड सो दिस इज बेसिकली फास्फोर डाइस्टर बॉन्ड यू नो ऑल द न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स आर ज्वाइन टूगेदर थ्रू अ फास्फोर डाइस्टर बॉन्ड एंड बिटवीन द बेसिस हियर आर द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड सो दिस फास्फोर डाइस्टर बॉन्ड विल बी ब्रोकन डाउन The enzyme that breaks the phosphodiester bond are called as nuclease enzyme. Okay, so it will break this bond, and when the enzyme uh, bond will be broken, a super twist will get resolved. So now this strand will come over here, and this strand will come over here, and again with the help of ligase domain, this strand will be attached there. Like now, you can see that super twist has been resolved. Super twist has been resolved. Nuclease domain will help to cut the phosphodiester um, uh, bond, and ligase domain will help to uh, join them again. Okay, in this way, a super twist problem will be resolved by the topoisomerase. Uh, well, there are certain drugs that act on this enzyme that you will study in your uh, pharmacology. Uh, that, uh, for example. Uh, there are certain uh, fluoroquinolones, uh, ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin, levofloxacin. What they basically do? They basically block the bacterial topoisomerase. When the bacteria uh, ligase domain, they block the bacterial topoisomerase ligase domain. So once the uh, nuclease domain has cut the DNA phosphodiester bond, but ligase domain of this enzyme has been blocked by the ciprofloxacin. So now. This ligase domain will not be able to rebound these strands. When uh, these strands will not be uh, joined again, what will happen? Bacterial DNA converted into small fragments, and ultimately bacteria will die. In this way, antibiotic, uh, some antibiotic work. Every antibiotic has different mechanism. Uh, you will study in your pharmacology in our late, later videos. Okay. Some other cancer drug also work in this way, like uh, doxorubicin. Doxorubicin is very a common anti-cancer drug. Doxorubicin. Now, doxorubicin again block human uh, topoisomerase ligase domain of cancer cell. In this way, the cancer cell replication will be inhibited. Like if topoisomerase is not working, super twist will not be able to one twist. So obviously, replication in the cancer cell will not take place because this doxorubicin block the ligase domain. All these things will be described in detail in the pharmacology videos. Well, what we have studied yet that topoisomerase has two domain nuclease and ligase. Nuclease domain will cut the phosphodiester bond, and after untwisting, ligase domain will again join them together, and DNA will remain intact. But super twist will be resolved. Okay, so in this way now uh, this uh, helicase enzyme will be able to further move on because super twist has been resolved. Super twist has been resolved, and uh, this helicase enzyme will be able to move further. Now another primer will be added by the primase. And DNA polymerase three will start replication, uh, start polymerization three to five direction in this way. And this process will keep on going until the both until both the strands get separated from each other, and two exact replica will be formed. But still, there is some problem. Initially, when I defined the replication process, what I said, I said that exact replica, exact copy should be made. But here we can see that. a uh, rna segment called as primer they are present while in our uh, parent strand no rna fragment is present so it means these fragments has to be removed to complete the process of replication these fragments has to be removed and the removal of this fragments will be done by an other enzyme that is called as DNA polymerase one with the help of another enzyme called as RNA H enzyme. RNA H enzyme. 
So basically, RNAs H is responsible to remove these primers, to remove these primers from the legging stand. This RNA will remove the primer. It will remove the primer. Now, primer has been removed. Now, this DNA polymerase one, it has same functions. What it will do? It will again. It is, it is responsible to move in the direction of three to five prime. DNA polymerase one. Okay. It will again move in this direction, and it will add nucleotide against the parent strand. Okay. For example, here is A, here is T. So it will place T here against T. It will place A here. So it will keep on adding the nucleotide in three to five direction. DNA polymerase one. Because the primers have been removed by the RNA uh, RNAs H enzyme, so to fill this space, we need help of DNA polymerase one that will attach the nucleotide. But there is a problem. There is a problem. The problem is that DNA polymerase cannot join these nucleotide. Cannot join these nucleotide. It will just place the right nucleotide in front of right nucleotide. For example, here is G. It is just responsible. To pick the C from the nucleoplast and place it right uh, over there. Similarly, for example, if there is T, it will just go and it pick the A from the nucleoplast and it will place uh, adenosine monophosphate over there. In this way, it will keep on adding the nucleotide. But these nucleotides have not been joined by this DNA polymerase one. So we need another enzyme to fix this problem. To join all these nucleotides that has been placed right by the DNA polymerase one, and the joining of these nucleotides that has been placed by the DNA polymerase one will be performed by another enzyme that is called as ligase. That is called as ligase enzyme. It will come over there. It will attach. It will keep on moving and start making the bond between the corresponding nucleotides, and in this way the All the correct nucleotide that has been placed by the DNA, DNA polymerase one will be joined together with the help of ligase enzyme, and exact replica of uh, our parent strand is being formed. For example, our uh, uh, helicase enzyme have moved uh, up till terminals. Okay, so here was. Primer was added, so DNA polymerase three move in this direction, and this is you know it's quite simple. It's five prime, it's three prime, so it will move in this direction, and at the end this primer will be removed, and DNA polymerase will add. Uh, uh, DNA polymerase one will add the nucleotide. In this way, keep on moving, and two strands will be formed, and both these strands now one DNA, the second DNA. Both DNA are exact copy of the parent DNA, and both DNA have one strand from the parent. This DNA has one parent strand. This DNA has one parent strand. So this uh, follows the basically semi-conservative model as well. So let me tell you one more thing: that this DNA polymerase three, this DNA polymerase three has also an, uh, one other uh, capacity, one other capability. For example, that is called as proofreading. This DNA polymerase has other property. Both of the DNA uh, polymerase three uh, and one. It is called as proof reading. They can proof read. For example, initially I said that for example here is P A, there is T, there is C, there is G. So I am a uh, DNA polymerase. I want to move in three to five direction. I am moving. So here is A. What will I do? I will pick T and place it over there. Place it over there. Like uh, during the process, what, now right now the process has been completed. But during the process, I am talking about. Okay, against T, I am supposed to place the A over there. Against C, I am supposed to place the G over there. Against G, I am supposed to place the C over there. But by mistake, I have placed T over there, and I have placed P over there. This strand has not been formed yet. For example, okay, now. What will I do against 
for example here is t here is t and i want to place a over there but as i will move forward i will immediately realize that i have done a mistake i have made a mistake i was supposed to place c in cross uh, 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 in front of g but i have placed t so what will i do i will come back so look at this for this this is 3 to 5 and for the complementary strand this is 3 to uh, sorry this is 5 to 3 prime this is 3 to 5 and the complementary strand that has been formed is 5 to 3 direction so as the dna polymerase will move forward it will soon realize that i have done a mistake so what it will do it will do it will just remove this t again and place the right one that is called as c okay so if from uh, uh, dna polymerase do any kind of mistake it is very responsible enzyme it will correct its mistake uh, mistake by its own okay now let me tell you one thing for example here is a it has placed t uh, instead of c so now it has to go back and it has to break this bond it has to break this bond obviously to make it correct so if it has to make this bond i just have said that enzyme that break the phosphodiester bond is called as nuclease enzyme is called as nuclease enzyme it mean this dna polymerase uh, uh, 3 or 1 will be having nuclease domain as well nuclease domain as well for the proofreading for the proofreading so whenever they any kind of mistake they go back they cut with the nuclease enzyme this phosphodiester bond and they place the right one and in this way they will keep on moving and exact replica of uh, dna is being formed and this is the process of uh, replication so let's review the role of enzymes uh, within a minute uh, a quick summary of 3 to 4 minute so that you may revise the whole concept 